Cork is a beautiful city. The old Cork of the Valley, of which Spencer, who was married there, wrote, the pleasant lee that like an island fair encloseth Cork with his divided flood, has long since crept up the enfolding hills. The river flows in two main channels with numerous backwaters, giving the city a continental air. And no wonder, for Cork craftsmen traded with Britain and Gaul when the might of Rome had still to blossom and lay the foundation which through 3,000 years has given Cork its character as an outward-looking, independent merchant city. J.J. Horgan, Cork County coroner for many years, man with a multiplicity of interests and perhaps the last act of Redmondite internationalist, is typical of the adventurous Cork spirit and has this to say of his city. Cork's historical background is quite interesting. Uh, its origin is not Irish. It was a foreign settlement, a bridgehead, a place where the invaders entered and they came one after the other, the Danes, then the Normans, then the Anglo-Irish, the Saxons. And finally, at the middle of the 19th century, the native Irish secured control of Cork. Um, it was uh, a walled city, as you know, and uh, the I tried once to, to summarize it in, in a short verse, which is a paraphrase of, of Tennyson's famous ode, uh, and I put it this way, uh, Dane and Norman and Gael are we, we are all of us Gaels in our tribute to thee, Kurt Key, which was a summary of Cork history. Of course, uh, we've given a headline to Ireland in many ways, in more modern times when the Irish controlled Cork. Cork became famous for its patriotic activities and we always boast of the fact that we're known as Rebel Cork. Uh, we also gave a lead to Ireland in 1929 when the first City Management Act was passed here, which was subsequently adopted by all the Irish cities and eventually by the county councils as well. What I would like to emphasize was that we had an industrial life, two of our own at that time. It centered in uh, the tanneries, the breweries, the distillery, and the butter market, and the uh, spinning factory at Blackpool, where Sunbeam Woolsey's factory is now. Uh, in the domain of entertainment, we had uh, the theater and the tavern. We hadn't yet moved into the synthetic world of the cinema and television. Uh, it was then that the operatic, Cork Operatic Society started and a long series of memorable performances of Gilbert and Sullivan and new and which were then new and novel light operas uh, were performed in the old opera house. We had cricket in the, on the Mardike, the Cork Park races where the Ford Industrial Estate now exists and uh, quite a different kind of social life to what we have now. We, the political life of the country was, of course, uh, completely divided by the Parnell split, which was a civil war without guns, and uh, it poisoned and revolutionized our public life. But the people of Cork, uh, who are the fundamental fabric of our city, were not very different from their descendants today. Then as now, they're kindly, hospitable, quick-witted, sharp-tongued, <coughs> often superficial, easy to know but difficult to understand, and most irritatingly sure of themselves and of their city. Cork has always traded with the world, and this has shaped the spirit of her citizens, a proud, self-reliant spirit. Very proud of being a Corkman. I personally wouldn't get caught for any other part of the I wouldn't leave Cork for any money, why should I? Just forging ahead like wildfire. I think industrial development in Cork Harbour is marvellous and I hope to see plenty more come here. They developed a characteristic trait of leadership still in evidence today. 